Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to remove or drop foreign key constraint from existing column of a table in MySQL. So let's get started. So currently I'm having two tables, one is the parent table which is student and another table is going to have the foreign key constraint column which is mark. So currently you can see I have applied this foreign key constraint to the column R number and this is the syntax alright, foreign key, this R number corresponds to this column present in mark, references student R number. So this particular column has been like reference to this R number column of mark from student. So now I will show you how to remove this. So first we need to verify whether our mark column has a foreign key it's going to be through insertion. So if I just now select asterisk from student which is the main table, if I just now run it. So here you can see R number has only one and two values. So now if I just go and again try to insert some value in mark table for this R number column. So here you can see I am trying to insert 50 is for sub ID, 50 is for mark and this 8 is for R number. But actually we can't insert 8 because this R number that we that is present in the student which is the parent table has only values as 1 and 2. So we can either insert 1 or 2 but not 8. So if I just now run it, I will be getting an error. So here you can see cannot add or update a foreign key constraint fails. So if I just now have two over here, this value will be getting inserted. Yeah, so here you can see, so these are the ways to check whether our foreign key constraint has been applied. So to remove the foreign key, we need to like use this particular command. So let me just now count, come down. It's going to be alter table and you need to specify your table name, which is, which has the foreign key, not the parent, the child. That has a column which has foreign key constraint. So it's going to be the mark table. So it's going to be mark drop you need to type foreign key and after that you need to specify your foreign key constraint name. It is not the column name but it is the foreign key constraint name. But if you have like created added foreign key after creating a table you will be having a constraint name. But in my case I have added this foreign key when I am creating the table itself. So now how to find the foreign key constraint name. So for that you need to run this particular command. It is show create table mark. So if I just now run it, we will be getting two columns, one is table and create table. What you are doing is you are just pressing this and right clicking it and you will just select copy row. And after this, just go to notepad and paste it. So here you will just scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah. And in the after the constraint here you can see you will be having this particular thing. Yeah. So here you can see it says constraint mark ibfk underscore one. So this is our foreign key constraint name. So you can try this out if you haven't specified your foreign key constraint name directly. So if you have specified it well and good you can just use that. So this is that particular command all right. Yeah. So once you're done foreign key after that just paste the constraint name. Yeah. So this is it, all the table, the child or the table which has the foreign key constraint column and drop foreign key and your constraint name, use this particular command to find the constraint name. So if I just now run it, yeah, so here you can see I have got a green mark which means that it is worked. So now I will try to insert some value other than 2 and 1 because uh, because that particular roll number column had 1 and 2 alright, so I will try to insert some other value. I will go with 8 which, which earlier we got an error for and I need to also change this I guess because yeah it has primary key so I will change it to 500 yeah so if I just now run it yeah so here you can see I am getting a green mark so now I can insert any other value it is not like constraint which means that my foreign key constraint has been successfully removed and I hope you would have found this video useful. I have also run many other tutorials in Node.js, React.js, MongoDB, MySQL, C, C++, Java. So do check other videos off my channel, subscribe me, thanks for watching.